All right, for those of you just joining us, we are looking at a live pursuit in Lancaster, California. For those of you unfamiliar with the Southern California area, Lancaster is northeast of downtown Los Angeles. It is east of Interstate 5, off of the 14 freeway there in Southern California. It looks like right here that police cruiser is trying to get some kind of position on the suspect here. We are watching very closely here. Here we go. Uh, wanting to make some kind of move. They go, they're going zigzagging right now. Some sort of side swiping motion is what this cruiser is looking. Oh, here we go. We're peeling off here, going onto the uh, side there. That was a little bizarre. They know eventually this is going to be a bust and they're going to... There we go. There was some more traffic there that was being stopped by one police cruiser. Thank gosh for that because uh, they want to keep those people safe as well. But as I was saying, so many times these suspects want to extend just that little bit of freedom. That's all they have left. And they know eventually they are going to get caught or unfortunately worse. We hope they don't hurt anyone. We hope they don't hurt themselves or an officer. Looks like, are we having a stop right here? Oh, okay, it looked like they wanted to maybe put those uh, stop sticks on, but they weren't able to get a clean swipe. We're getting more traffic now. They've deployed uh, some spike strips, and now it looks like, uh, as Sandra was saying, they've, uh, they're thinking about uh, doing the pit here. These are pretty uh, desolate roads out there, isn't it? Yeah, these roads here are kind of narrow, so the officer in pursuit here are going to try and do their best, uh, try and get in better position to deploy the, uh, the maneuver. So this is one pursuit uh, that, that uh, we are following right now, the Sheriff's Department, the chopper also. Uh, Bob, we understand that this was somebody wanted for assault with the uh, deadly weapon. Is that is that correct, officer? Uh, that is correct. That is the information we collected from the uh, L.A. County Sheriff's Department. The Sheriff's Department originally had this pursuit started uh, at 11.06 this morning. Wow. Um, the California Highway Patrol took over this pursuit at 11.58. So we're talking about coming up on one hour into this pursuit. All right, as we just saw, the suspect. Oh, live picture's right there. There's a pit maneuver, and it looks like they clicked Whoa. the back of that vehicle off the side of the road, and the driver's going to jump right out. You see him right there wearing a uh -oh. red hat. He looks very agitated, too. Look at that. Hands are up in the air. Walking through a cloud of dust. He's a little agitated, not happy with what's going on. He's not complying. Uh, most likely they'll have to use some non-lethal force to bring him down. But you can see he's walking away from officers, perhaps agitated, hands up in the air. They do have their guns drawn on this individual, but so far he's refusing to comply. He's not going to get anywhere. This pursuit's going to come to an end. I mean, look at the line of law enforcement as they are following him. They're both on foot, in the car, and in the helicopter. Some of them have their guns deployed. Here we go. Taking him down. Physically taking him down. That's the CHP. This guy just will not end. A taser. Looks like they're tasing him. Uh, one of those officers just tased him. That was a CHP officer who just jumped on top of him. So fortunately, this pursuit has come to an end. But what a dramatic ending here. This is eastbound 138, just about a half a mile west of the 14 freeway.
and fortunately they were able to bring this dangerous pursuit to a safe conclusion. I have not heard about any accidents or any injuries, so really kudos to the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department and the California Highway Patrol. They got a dangerous suspect in custody. Nobody here got hurt. And Colleen, we're here at the sheriff's station where the suspect is expected to arrive. First, he was taken to the hospital to be looked over and evaluated, but he is in their custody right now. And this guy was a wanted man. We now know his name. He is Danny Reeder from Palmdale. And as I said, uh, he was a parolee who has been looked for. Uh, cops have been looking for him for quite some time, some several months, according to state parole. Now, you were talking about that pursuit. It was a wild one indeed. It lasted over an hour and went through very sparse parts parts of the Antelope Valley going in and out, uh, the cops trying to chase him, and they had not just sheriff's deputies at, from the Lancaster Department, but they also were getting assistance from the Cam California Highway Patrol. He had no regard for either one of those law enforcement agencies. The CHP had to perform a pit maneuver to get him to stop. The suspect's SUV spins out as you're looking there on camera, and law enforcement come close behind on foot as he's trying to get away. He stops, he starts, but finally, as you said, he gets tackled down and taken down, and we're learning that Reader has a long rap sheet. He was a parolee at large, and then there's also a charge for assault with a deadly weapon in December in Palmdale. And actually, that charge is after what he was actually wanted for. We'll give you more on that as we're getting some more information. Now, this is the car that Reader was driving after the pursuit ended. Again, he is from Palmdale. Uh, we don't know too many details about the assault itself, but we're getting those, including what um, also why he was on a, a parole, how long he has been in jail, and other details about this man, Danny Reader, who's expected here shortly. And we'll bring you those in about an hour. But for now, that's the very latest from Lancaster.